يعني انا دخلت من هنا بالضبط هاي الباب من دخلت اتذكر يعني جابوني هيك وقفوني هنا على الوضع هذا هيك This man has become an icon of everything that's gone wrong with America's occupation of Iraq. <laughs> Ali al-Shalal Abbas, or Hajj Ali as he's known, believes he is the man in this photo. Hajj Ali spent just three months in Abu Ghraib prison, but will spend the rest of his life reliving it. <laughs> While the torturers in the notorious Abu Ghraib photos have been tried and sentenced, their victims have gone uncompensated and unheard. Abu Man spent 11 months being humiliated and tortured in Abu Ghraib. When you look at these photographs of yourself and other people, how do you feel? <laughs> استحي من الصور مو منها هاي ما استحي منها هذه رجولة ليس بعدها رجولة شجاعة ولكن ذيك اللقطات ثير بعض الشمئزاز بنفسي وإن كنت مخصوب عليها ولكنها تبقى تحز بالنفس يوم أسود بحياتي يعني Aman Jordan has become a refuge from hell for many Iraqis like Hajj Ali and Abu Man. Abu Man is a retired army general from the Iraqi Special Forces. He says he was imprisoned before the war for criticizing Saddam's regime. Still, as a former army general in a brutal military dictatorship, he was of obvious interest to the Americans. So Abu Man was not surprised when he heard a helicopter above his house in the middle of the night. قلت لهم راح يجون الامريكان فانتم ابقوا هادئين يعني انا المستهدف وانا راح اروح وياهم لا يضل بالكم يعني لان كنت اخاف على اطفال وزوجتي حامل فقعدتها من النوم واثناء انه انا جاي اقعدها من النوم دخلت القوه الى غرفه النوم كان تفز امي كان اول ما يفز لقينا الامريكان فوق راسنا كان يوقع القزاز كان اخواني يربطوهم هيك ها بعدي واحد من اخواني هيك هذا الكبير هيك فيها خيطه كان هو من يتعلم العين كان يسحبوا هاي قمصيه كان يضرب Abu Man's wife Nadal was six months pregnant at the time of the raid صار عندي نزف كله بس ارجف يعني كل حاله ارجف فصار الصبح يعني النهار ورحت المستشفى while Nadal was in hospital, her husband was being initiated into life at Abu Ghraib. دخلت للزنزانة بحدود الساعة الخامسة فجرا. طبعا قبلها سبقها صوروني أوضاع. مزرية خالعين ملابسي ويضحكون علي كانوا وتسمع صياح ناس يصيحون نساء ورجال وأطفال أحيانا عرفت فيما بعد أنه غرفة الزنزانة مالتي كان رقمها 11 for four months, Nadal had no news of her husband and assumed he was dead. As an unregistered ghost detainee, Abu Man lived in constant fear. إطلاقاً ما فكرت إنه راح أخرج حي أبداً. ليش؟ 
لأنه ما انطوني رقم صليب أحمر الما ينطونا رقم هذا يظل مشروع آآ آآ مشروع آآ آآ موت مؤجل كل من ما عنده رقم يستشعر أنه راح يموت بعد ساعة بكرة بعد بكرة Abu Man was imprisoned in October 2003. Just two months earlier, the Americans had reopened Abu Ghraib, one of the world's most notorious prisons during Saddam Hussein's reign. At the time, there had been a major escalation in attacks by insurgents. The Americans desperately needed intelligence on the people behind these killings and stepped up arrests and interrogations. Put your hands on your head. The pressure was on, but it was obvious the Americans didn't know what to ask. How many times did we hit? How many times did we hit the American forces? And where was the place where Saddam Hussein was killed? So the answer was that we didn't hit you. وصدام حسين بشكل شخصي ما شايفه بس بالتلفزيون شايفه ما اعرف الساس وما ارضى الناس as a local community leader Haj Ali was asked to inform on other people وانت يعني اخر شيء وصل مرحله وياه قال انت ما تكره بشر يعني اي بشر تكره اعطينا اسمه واحنا نعتبرها بدايه تعاون ونساعده العفو وراها بدا يصعد التهديد قال لي انت تعرف اسامه بن لادن شخصيا انت راح نوديك لغوانتنامو راح ايدك تتعفن راح نوديك لمكان ما تعيش به الكلاب مرضاي وانت كنت واحد منهم 19 هاجالي has come to see a surgeon in Amman من امريكا لهون he injured his hand before he was arrested when a gun backfired at a wedding now he's hoping to get it reconstructed. يعني أنت ما كنت في سجن في سجن أبو غريب شيء. هناك يعني يعني حصل معك شغل معين يعني خلال. كل واحد عنده جرح أو عاهة أو شيء يستخدمونها هم بالتحقيق. كوسيلة ضغط. قال لي خلي إيدك بالقاع طلعتها من جوا الزنزانة. داس عليها بال بالبسطال فركها هيك فرك بحيث بعد ما أدري يعني. يعني كنت احط ايدك هيك وبعدين صار في كراس يعني كراشنج وراها حجر لي was picked off the streets by the americans around the same time as abu man in abu ghraib the two men were classed as high value detainees and put in cell block 1a reserved by military intelligence for special interrogations it's been widely reported that in August 2003, Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld encouraged the physical coercion and sexual humiliation of Iraqi prisoners to try to get information on the growing insurgency. The guards were told the gloves are off and to loosen up the detainees for interrogations. Those in the solitary cells of Abu Ghraib were to feel it the most. Haj Ali describes his arrival at cell block 1A. كولم باول اليد المتعفنه يعني كلمات مو زينه يسحبون اقسام مال المسدس يخلونه هنا مفرد شي يسوي لي بالعربي اعدام 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 بقيت على الوضعيه هاي تقريبا الى ان صار اذان الفجر رفع التشيس من راسي شوف قدامي شخص ملتحي اشقراني طويل Hajali believes his first interrogator was Israeli 
The interrogators at Abu Ghraib included CIA officers and private defence contractors. وإذا اجى ولقوك نايم يجيب لك بطل يبول بي ويذب عليك او يربطك يقول لك اشرب بول شنو علاقة المعلومات ان ان يشربك بول اذا كان يريد ياخذ معلومات شنو علاقة المعلومات ان 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 ان, أن ما ينطيك علاج للاسهال ويخليك بالبرد شنو علاقه المعلومات بهذا الموضوع شنو علاقه المعلومات انت تخلص تحقيق وتموت بالمخيم تحقيق خلصت ما لا مو معلومات الموضوع مو معلومات الموضوع بعض الامريكان تنتابهم حالات ساديه على راسها رامس فيلد سادي رقم واحد وانسحبت السادية إلى بعض الأمريكان وليس كلهم. During his first four days in Abu Ghraib, Haj Ali says he was deprived of food and water, beaten, and sexually assaulted with a rifle. But he says the worst thing that happened was the psychological torture at the end of those four days. What is why then the خلونا لزن زانا وربطونا بهالوضع هذا. وشغلوا جابوا السماعه بقد هاي بالضبط بقد هاي يعني على قد باب الزنزانه المسافه بيني وبينها تقريبا 10 سنتيمترات والصوت يمكن ينسمع يم البنك العربي اغنيه بابلون بابلون يعني هي نفسها اغنيه مال مجموعه وفرقه بابلون يعني بس افتهم منها هاي لدرجة انه من وخروا السماعة بقيت لساعات طويلة يعني اسمعها بس هي ماكو بس انا اسمعها يعني بقت The soundtrack at Abu Ghraib also included the screams of women. Haj Ali says he heard women being raped every night. Little is known about these women. They don't appear in any of the photos and it's near impossible to find women willing to tell their stories. يعني هاي ما عادت غريبة بسجن أبو غريب يعني النساء تسعة متر عنا ونسمع استغاثتهن وحتى عرفنا اسم اللي اللي اغتصب واحدة منهم كان يتدي نظارات كاتب هنا أمبي ما أعرف شنو أمبي In January 2004, without charge or apology, Haj Ali was hooded, put on the back of a truck with a group of other prisoners, driven to a highway in Baghdad and pushed off. It wasn't long before the world found out what had happened to him. On January 13, military police officer Joseph Darby blew the whistle on prisoner abuse at Abu Ghraib, handing copies of the graphic photographs to army investigators. <laughs> Nearly four months later, the photos were beamed worldwide, and Washington went into damage control. In recent days, there has been a focus on a few who have betrayed our values and values and sullied the reputation of our country. Like, like each of you, I'm sure, and like most Americans, I was stunned 
It was a body blow. It wasn't long before the New Yorker magazine reported that the Secretary of Defense was personally responsible for authorizing the use of torture at Abu Ghraib. I've stopped reading the newspapers. the Committee of the Armed Services, the United States Senate will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Despite a damning report by Major General Antonio Tuguba, supervisory omission was rampant. Only six officers were disciplined in relation to the abuse at Abu Ghraib. No other senior officers or interrogators from private contracting companies have ever been punished. لحد الان ما شفنا محقق من شركه تايتن كرابا او شركه كايسي اللي كانوا يغتصبون الزوج امام زوجته والزوجه امام زوجها والفتاه امام اهلها واخوانها لحد الان ما شفنا واحد منهم طلع بال ولا رفعت عليه قضيه لانه شركه تختبئ ورا مليارات ورا فضيحتها بغريب بشهر جددوا لها العقد Of the entire chain of command, only nine low-ranking soldiers have ever been jailed. يعني لحد الان كل الناس اللي بدها تظهر بالصور دول كلهم عسكر يعني حراس Most of the guards were only jailed for a few months. Specialist Charles Grainer received the longest sentence, 10 years. لا يا شادي يا بو According to the victims, Grainer was the most brutal of all the guards. هذا المشكلة هذا أبو المشاكل. You remember him? هذا يعني هذا إلى الآن آني أنام وأحلم باللي ألبي وأقعد والله. يجي يقول ليش ما كصوت أنا أريد أشرب النسكافي ولازم أتمتع بموسيقى. فموسيقى من يتبرع يسمعنا موسيقى يعني ما حد يتبرع فيجي يختار واحد يعلقه ويخليه يصيح هو يجيب الكرسي ويتلذذ يقول هاي الموسيقى المفضله مالتي انا ست اوليفا عند ما كلب عندكم يموت باستراليا تسحبونه هيك along with charles grainer Lindy England was a regular feature of Abu Man's nights. هاي صديقة غرينر هي صديقته أو زوجته قالوا بعدين يمكن يقبلها هي شو فد بوسة أيضا يبوس بيها يعني قبلة واحدة فد عشر دقائق. أمي هسه أحلى من عدها وهي عجوز والله بهواي أحلى. When I interviewed Abu Man. Lindy England had just been sentenced to three years in prison for her role in the torture. Three years only. This is specialist Sabrina Harmon. She was released after serving only a few months in prison. يعني يعني تشمت في واحد ميت يعني شنو يكون في داخلها؟ اكيد بداخلها شيطان لكن شكلها كان شكلها اني كنت والله معجب بيها حلوه والله بذاك الوقت بشوفها حلوه. The body is that of Manadal Al Jumaili. Who was tortured to death within a day of his arrival at Abu Ghraib. And this is Manadal's wife and daughter at home in Baghdad. An actor and part time driver, Manadal was arrested at home in November 2003. Five and a half hours later, he was dead. 
Ilham spent the following seven months looking for her husband. من ندري يعني نشوف مناظر بالتلفزيون إنه ميت. ندري اللي اللي يأخذوا صدام يروح بعد ما يجي. ما أدري مية أمريكا تأخذ مناظر بعد ما تجيب النيان. The CIA alleges Manadal supplied explosives used by insurgents in several attacks, including the bombing of the Red Cross office in Baghdad. His daughter Hajar says this is ridiculous. أو مثل ما يقولون إرهابي أو لقوا أسلحة بالبيت يعني ما كل شيء ما كل شيء كلها يعني كاذب. According to army witnesses, Manadal was interrogated by CIA operatives. For up to two hours, he was hung from window bars, with both his arms stretched out behind him, bearing his full weight. One of the military police summoned to reposition Manadal said that blood gushed from his mouth as if a faucet had been turned on. His body was packed in ice overnight, and the next day medics put a fake IV in his arm and took his corpse away on a stretcher. No one ever contacted Manadal's family to tell them he was dead. يعني هم يقولون عن المسلمين إرهاب وهم نفسهم إرهابيين يعني أكو أكو واحد يجي يسوي يعني هو هذا بشر هذا يعني هذا مو مثل بشر يعني شو تفسير هاي الصورة يعني هسه يشوفها شو يقول يعني غير إرهاب مو دولة A military autopsy concluded Manadal's death was a homicide and that he died from a blunt trauma to the chest which broke five ribs. Combined with the hood on his head and the position he was hung in, his injuries caused his asphyxiation. No one has been charged with murdering Manadal. He died in the custody of a CIA interrogator who is still working for the agency. It's now two years since Manadal was murdered and the CIA says the case is still under investigation. The family has filed a lawsuit in the US. While they don't expect justice, they're hoping for some compensation to help them survive. Haj Ali has started an organization called Victims of the American Occupation Prisons, which claims to have 40,000 members. He now spends most of his time trying to help other ex-detainees and documenting new stories of abuse. The Americans reopened Abu Ghraib to try to counter the insurgency, but over the past two years, the attacks have only intensified. Haj Ali says the abuse at Abu Ghraib has played a major role in this. يعني شخص من يتعرض من ينتهك عرضه أمامه أو من يرفض الممارسة الجنسية مع المجندة. والمجندة ترتدي قضيب اصطناع وتختص به يعني هذا شنو المطلوب منه بعد؟ Haj Ali and Abu Man are both broken men. Abu Man lives here in exile, too afraid of the new regime to go back to Iraq. He will always be haunted by his memories of Abu Ghraib. هو شغلات بي يعني أنا أبسط شيء حالته النفسية مو تمام. 
اعصابي على اقل شيء يعني الاحلام بالليل بالليل كله يفز يعني تذكر الامريكان او الموقف مالته و... يعني مو مو وضعه يعني مو تمام اكيد غيرت حياتي يعني انا قبل كانت اهتماماتي بسيطه متواضعه يعني حياه اعتياديه زوجه واطفال وبستان وزرع و... كلها فقدتها يعني كل شيء من وراء هاي التجربة كل شيء علم نسيت